Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I'm super excited to be filming again. It has been a while. It's been, it's been a quick minute. Um, I apologize for not being able to make any videos lately, but I've actually just been hired. Um, I've got almost a full full-time job. I say almost because I'm still in school two days a week, but um, I'm now working for a cosmetics company called The Bomb Cosmetics. It is a San Francisco brand and I'm going to be doing makeup for them and working on their social media so that has been taking up a lot of my time. But I'm here and I'm going to be filming for you a sort of red carpet inspired look um, since the Academy Awards are going to be tomorrow. I'm super excited about watching them except I haven't seen any of the movies so I'm just strictly going to be watching to enjoy and you know maybe get some ideas on what movies to see so um since i have a lot of uh bomb products that i have been playing with lately i thought i would use as many products from the bomb as possible just so i can introduce you to some new things tell you what i've been loving so yeah if you would like to learn how to get a very beautiful sort of understated less instagrammy and more red carpet subtle subdued glam then keep watching Alright, to begin with, I'm going to prime my skin. So this primer that I have been loving so much lately is this brand, um, Amit. I have no idea um, what else they make, but I think they are a Swedish company. Um, so it's called Amit Makeup, Artists for Artists, by Artists for Artists, and um, it's a Diamond Heart Base Primer, Illuminating Primer. So um, I like to put a nice amount on. It's really, really smooth and creamy. It's a salmon color. And um, I'm just going to spread that all across my face. So this primer is really, really incredible for um, allowing your foundation to just smooth right over it. Like, it's so, so soft and beautiful and it smells incredible. It's just one of those primers that I love 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 to apply now that my skin is primed I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair back there we go and for my foundation today I'm going to be using a foundation I have been loving so I have just done a review on them I wasn't quite sure how I was feeling about it but after wearing it for some weeks I'm starting to really really love this uh, foundation so this is LC cosmetics created by makeup by Lilith really really a great Instagram artist um, so I'm just going to go ahead, pop that onto the back of my hand, and then use a sponge. So I'm just going to dip that in my sponge and start right in the center of my face. So recently I got something called a Hydra Facial. And what this is, is a facial that's going to go extremely, extremely deep down into your pores and clean out every last little trace of makeup and dirt and oil. And it leaves your skin so baby soft. Like, I can't even tell you guys. I haven't worn foundation this entire week. This is legitimately the first time I'm wearing foundation um, since I got the facial because my skin has been so clear and soft and even that I just decided I am not going to chance that by wearing makeup and changing what that incredible facial did. So finally I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, time to be glam again. But if you wear a lot of makeup on a regular basis and you want something that's going to really freshen up your skin and make it feel super, super clean, I highly recommend getting a Hydra Facial. It's like the biggest thing right now in Hollywood. It's that facial that's like really, really good for all skin types just because everyone can stand to have a really, really clean, soft, smooth face. And um, it's really good for anti-aging too if you are looking for something that's going to treat that. And it's great for dry skin as well because it's going to help to hydrate and alleviate the dryness that you're experiencing. So, um, if you're in the Bay Area and you're looking for a great esthetician, the woman that I just went to for the first time, her name is Kelly. She is great, 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 great. She really just looked at my skin and just um, combined a lot of different techniques that she offers or different um, services that she offers and just kind of made a custom facial for me. Um, because I do have acne and I do have oilier skin and I do wear a lot of makeup so I think that she just made sort of like this custom facial for me and oh my god I'm definitely gonna go back like every month it was just so 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 good I'm hooked 
Alright, so that is my finished foundation. If you would like to know more about that foundation, I have just made a full um, demo and review of it if you want to just check out my last video and then you'll learn a bit more about it. So next I'm going to move on to concealer. To conceal today, I'm just going to use something really light. This is um, from NYX. It's the Dark, uh, Dark Circle Concealer. has more of a salmon base to it. Really, really nice. I enjoy this uh, concealer a lot. So what I do is just with my nail, I dig a little bit out. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot bit. But, you know, we could do the same thing. And I like to just um, warm it up with my fingers on the back of my hand. Get a nice amount on my finger. And then I just like to sort of dab that on under my eyes. I don't have like too dark of under eye circles, so I don't like to overdo it because very quickly your under eye area can get dry, it can get creasy, it can get um, a bit messy. So I like to use the least amount of product under my eyes possible just to keep it looking nice and clean and fresh. So I do like to extend it out here a bit because that sort of lifts your eyelid. I'm sorry, lifts your cheekbone area and looks nice. Okay, that's my under eyes. Now I'm going to take just a little bit around the nose. And then areas where I have little blemishes, I'm going to put that right over top as well. Okay, so now that my foundation concealer are the way that I like it, I'm going to bake in a bit of powder. So I'm using It Cosmetics. Love this powder. This is their um, Bye Bye Pores powder. Is that what it's called? Yes, Bye Bye Pores. This is a really, really amazing powder to bake in. So I'm going to tap a bit of that. Oh God, there's already a lot of that in the lid. And then I'm going to take a little sponge, dip that in. Use a generous amount, that's totally fine, totally normal. Then I'm going to peek at my under eyes, make sure that there's no sort of creasing. And once you're good, just go ahead and place that under your under eyes. So just go ahead and pat it over. Don't like blend it in because then it will not help catch any fallout. And then I'm going to extend that down just onto the tops of the cheekbone. I'm also going to take it down the side of my nose just because this is the area that I do tend to get oily in. And then this is going to help it stay nice and matte longer throughout the day. Now the other side. If you're like in this room with me right now, you would hardly be able to see through all of the powder that is like swirling through the air. Alright. Okay. Looks. Wow. This powder is like intense, guys. It makes my eyes feel so tight. It's like sucking all of the oil and everything right out my face. Which is fine with me. That's great. You know, go to town, powder. Go to town. I'm going to dab that over my cheeks too. Since this is a bye bye pore powder, you better put it where the pores are. Am I right? Okay. So I've essentially created two triangles under each eye. Next I'm going to take that onto the chin. Just pat that right on top. My nose is a little bit dry so I'm just going to skip the nose, going to go onto the forehead area. I don't need a ton on the forehead because it's not usually a problem to get oily there, but just a little, okay, and a little I'll put on the tip of the nose and the bridge. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to let that bake for a couple of minutes while I go onto other parts of my face. So I'm going to go onto my eyebrows right now. So my brows right now are super thick. I've been letting them just go hog wild just to see 
how thick that they can get. And um, it's been really good. I've been liking it. I think that they look super, super full. And um, I just need to go and get them threaded a little bit in some areas, but otherwise I'm super happy with it. So I'm going to take my angled brush. This is from Anastasia. And I'm going to, um, I've just brushed them up a bit so you can see the shape. And what I like to do is take a bit of my dip brow. This is in medium brown. I like to get a lot on the brush. Just like, you know, get way more than you could ever need. And I'm going to put that onto the back of my hand. Just like this. I'm going to spread the sides of it. Just so both sides of the brush are nice and saturated in the product. But it doesn't have too much. Okay. Next, I'm going to start on the bottom of my brows. I'll zoom in a little bit. Oh, that much. Okay. I'm going to start halfway across the brow, just right where that arch is. This is where I've acquired a lot of fullness. And I'm just going to go down to like where the lowest hair is and sort of outline this new bottom shape. That's about as long as I want it to be. And then I'm going to connect it to the front. I'm going for a bold look today because I love bold eyebrows. I love me some bold brows. So I'm going to go nice and light towards the front of the brow because I want it to be a bit more natural looking. Always take the spoolie and brush through it, through it so that the line at the base of your brows isn't too harsh and looks a bit more blended. And then I'm just going to work that brush up the smallest amount just to keep it looking blended. And then I'm going to take it long ways and then just very lightly add in a bit of color. Now personally I like to make my eyebrows a bit darker on the outer corners because I think it's a nice sharp look. So I'm going to brush the hair down now so I can outline the top of my brows. Like so. And then I'm just going to fill that in. I think I'll just jump right into my eye makeup. So today I'm featuring Balm products. So I'm going to be using the palette Nude Tude. This is um, the cutest freaking palette you're ever going to see. Look at these ladies! There's also a guy version, um, I can't find it anywhere. And I'm going to be taking the color Seductive. I will show you that later. This is um, sort of a shimmery metallic brown. Really, really pretty color. And I'm going to take a little brush. This is the um, Crease Love and Happiness brush. How cute. And I'm going to take that tap off a bit of excess and I'm going to press that onto my lid now these shadows are really pigmented so you don't need to pack on a ton of color but I do, you do need to always blend. Blend, blend, blend. So I'm going to softly blend that into the crease, but not on top of the crease, you know? This isn't our transition color. This is just going to be the lid color, but of course you don't want to have any intense lines. So I'm just going to softly buff that in. 
Okay, next I'm going to take the color Sultry, which is a matte chocolate brown, and I'm going to use that same brush to press that into the outer uh, corner of my lid. I've decided I'm not going to use the transition color. I think that this fades really nicely and kind of looks nice and complete without one. So I'm just going to let this be our colors. Next, I'm going to use the other side of that brush. It's two different brushes on this one. And I'm going to um, smudge that darker color that is sultry, mixed with a little bit of sleek. And then I'm going to press that into the top lash line. This is going to um, just be like a soft, smoky, not harsh liner. Okay. Now that I have my color placed where I want it, I am just going to use the other end of the brush, the blending edge, and I'm going to soften that line. Okay. Now that I have my color placed where I want it, I am just going to use the other end of the brush, the blending edge, and I'm going to soften that line. If you'd like, just to step your glam up just the smaller, smallest amount. You can take your liner color and just smudge it out slightly upwards to give a nice cat eye effect. This is Lights, Camera, Flashes from Tarte. Really like this mascara. Wiggle that wand through. Now just to add a touch more glam, I'm going to add a little, little bit of this pigment. This is um, like a loose eyeshadow called Overshadow from the Balm. This is in the color um, No Money, No Honey. Okay. And I'm going to lightly dip my brush into that. Just dip it into the lid, you know, get the lightest amount of color. Look at all of that coming off. That's good. Just the, one, the lightest amount. Please ignore my family in the background. They know I'm filming and they don't care. And I'm going to lightly pat that. onto the center of my eyes. This is going to give an illusion of depth and add a little sparkle. Okay, now that my eye makeup is done, I'm gonna go ahead and um, brush away all of that powder because we don't need it to be catching any fallout. So I'm just gonna take this brush and lightly dust away the bake. All right, from here I'm gonna go into adding some color to my face. So um, I like to always start with the Anastasia contour kit before I go ahead and put more um, color, but I really like this shade right here from the light palette. It really acts as a shadow. It's not a bronzer, it's just a nice amount of shadow color. So I like to just go ahead and outline sort of like this C shape right here with that color before I, I go ahead and put any more color. So one comment I wanna add is if you have dry skin, baking might be a more difficult um, look for you to do because especially the powder I just put on can be really drying. So um, like my face feels tight right now because all of the moisture was sucked right out. 
So um, if you're going to bake anything, maybe just do your under eyes because you uh, don't want to get too, too dry everywhere. That's not going to make your foundation look good. Even right now I'm feeling a little bit dry, um, but yeah, just be cautious of that. Okay, next I'm actually going to take Balm Desert. This is a bronzer, and I'm going to dip that same brush in. This is a MAC um, 135, I believe. It's a newer brush. Really, really nice for adding color to the face. Sort of takes the work out of contouring because um, cause of the shape. You don't really have to work it like you do with some of their smaller contour brushes. And um, it's a little bit more expensive than their other ones, but it's really really nice I will say that um, before I go go on I'm going to add in um, some shadow underneath my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brush um, and I'm going to take a mix of sultry and seductive and I'm just going to brush that under my eyes Next I'm going to add in a bit of Hot Mama, it's a pretty little brush from the Balm Cosmetics, has sort of a metallic-y um, shimmer in it, just going to add that right onto slightly above where I put the bronzer. So to shade my nose I'm going to take the Anastasia kit in that same middle color that I put on earlier. And I'm going to just run that down the sides of my nose to add a little bit of dimension. So I like to start right about here and just shade that whole area. So my skin is a little bit dry on my nose and it's not looking too hot. Hopefully the light is blurring all of that. See now that one line is there, I'm going to shade the other side. This is just going to make your nose look a lot slimmer. I like to also go across the top. And then on the bottom as well. gonna blend that in and then now I'm going to highlight my face so this is the fun part this is um, Mary Luminizer in my opinion the best highlighting color this is sort of a champagne -y shade a real techniques brush I'm just going to lightly dip it in and then sweep that across my cheek I also like to take a little bit of that and put it right across the top of my lips. Just accentuates the cupid's bow. And with my finger, I'm just going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose. And the bridge of my nose. I also like to put it on the inner corner of my eyes. I also like to dip it, my brush in it and put it slightly above my eyebrow. And that's just going to give it a nice glossy, dewy look. Catches the light all throughout here. I am using this color from MAC. This is Cream of Spice, and then I'm just going to lightly line my lips. And 
Next I'm taking the liquid lipstick shade Adoring from the Balm and I am going to apply the color with the lip brush. This is from Ben Nye from when I did middle school theater. I've kept on to it for that long. And I'm just going to start in the center. And work my way out. So using a lip brush is a nice way to get a softer look from the product. Um, if I were to apply it straight from the tube, it would be super concentrated and be, you know, a really bright color, just like it is um, when you look at it in the tube, but when you apply it with a brush, it kind of softens it a bit. Alright, so for gloss, I'm going to be using Read My Lips in the color Boom, Boom, and I'm just going to apply that right in the center. So as you can see, it's very similar to the lipstick. Just a bit, just like one little half a shade darker. I've decided to add a touch more um, depth and color to my waterline by using the Batter Up Shadow Sticks from the Balm. This one is in the color Dugout, and I'm just going to press that into my lower lash line. Alright, I've just let my hair down, and then to finish off my skin, I'm going to use a little bit of Dewy Skin Mist. This is from NYX. Alright guys, this is my finished Hollywood Glam. I hope that you liked it. I decided to keep my hair a bit more natural because I've noticed more and more on the red carpet things are being more natural. You have your one bold focus and for this look it's the lips and also my brows are a bit stronger too. And then everything, the hair, the eyes, everything is more subtle and understated. I'm not even wearing lashes. Um, if I were to spice this up a little bit, I might do just some side lashes, um, the half strips, or even some individual lashes would look nice with this as well. But I'm just keeping it nice and soft. Um, the skin is nice and glowy, which is just always popular on the red carpet. Um, I highly recommend a setting spray. It's just going to keep your makeup on and keep, if you put a lot of powder, it's going to pr help prevent it from looking too cakey and harsh. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any requests, please let me know. Um, hopefully I'll be making these videos a bit more frequently if I can. Thank you so much for watching. I've just hit 100 subscribers. That's really exciting for me. Um, that may not seem like much for some people, but to me, I'm like, oh my god, 100 different people like watch my videos when they come out. So, Or maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're just supporting to be nice, but thank you so much for subscribing. Um, if you're not subscribed, take a look at my other videos and subscribe if you'd like. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next one.